Welcome to Star Signed Horoscopes presented by Astrology Hub. This is your place to discover how each zodiac sign can work with this week's astrology. I am your host, Jamie McGee, an astrologer, author, and a member of the production team here at Astrology Hub. And I am really excited to dive into this week's astrology with you. Hey guys, welcome to Star Sign Horoscopes. I am your astrologer, Jamie McGee, and today we're going to be taking a look at the astrology for May 20th through the 26th. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic week out there. And if you are watching this on social media, I would love to know how last week went for you. How did you work with that eclipse energy? This week is going to have a lot of that same energy where you're going to be working with those stories, anything that was triggered or unfolding for you. But at the same time, this week has its own signature. And this signature is going to be ushering in some new energy and new ways to work with what's going on. But at the same time, it may be asking you to also revise, go back and wrap up old stories so you can really step forward. All right, let's talk about why. So first off, we have the sun moving into Gemini. So happy birthday to every Gemini out there. I look forward to sharing with everyone how you can work with this energy because the sun's going to be highlighting a part of your life as it moves through Gemini. We also have Mars moving into his rulership of Aries. Now he hasn't been there for a very long time, like the end of 2020. So I'm excited to share with you guys how you can work with this drive, this courage, and this determination and this sense of adventure where Mars is in your chart right now. Mercury is going to also slide back into Taurus and highlight some revisions, part of his retrograde. And so I think with this energy, you know, sometimes we have revisions to do and we don't know how to do them. That could be really overwhelming and frustrating, even aggravating overall. But when we're inspired and excited, we like we have this epiphany. We cannot wait to get back and start doing those revisions because we know how much it's going to amplify and uplift whatever we are doing or working on, no matter how personal or professional it could be. So I do think when the sun meets up with Mercury, we are going to get that epiphany. You're going to get those great ideas. So definitely look for that as we move into this weekend. Now, overall this week, Mars, Mercury, Venus, they all reach out to Pluto and have a conversation with him. These are friendly conversations. So I think you're going to see a lot of potential for powerful shifts and forward motion, forward motion towards transformation and growth. So kind of think about the, that kind of energy or the conversations that you're having this week, the suggestions that come in or the ideas that you know come to you from past powerful influences or stories that you have moved through in your life. All right, guys, just as a reminder, please always listen to both your sun sign and your rising sign to get a better overall view of how you can work with this week's energy. And if you are not sure what your sun sign is, I mean, what your rising sign is or your moon sign is, I have a solution for you that I mentioned last week here at Astrology Hub. We are now offering a free report that's all about your big three, your sun, moon, and rising. So not only will you know what they are, you'll have a little snippet about what this sign usually represents or highlights of what it represents. Presents. This report is free to anyone, and I love how it's such a useful, fun tool to look at. All you have to do to grab yours is go to astrologyhub.com forward slash sun, moon, and rising, and we'll make sure to put that on the screen and in the show notes as well. All right, guys, let's get started. Okay, Sagittarius, let's take a look at your week. Now, Sagittarius, this week, the energy truly does shift for you. Instead of being more inward and for reflective, kind of looking at things on your own, you're definitely going to be kind of drawn out to be more social. So partnerships, one-on-one -on -one, and relationships, they're going to be very highlighted for you right now. And after all this reflecting that you've been doing, you may find that, you know, you need to join a new partnership or a new group of people. And this may mean that you need to leave one or you have to balance them. Whatever happens with these relationships, what I really like for you is how supported your communication is. Like you're going to find the flow of words. You're going to know what to say one-on-one -on -one and to a group to make everything kind of flow together for you. So kind of lean on that. Use your words. Now, there's also a lot of fire, originality, and passion that's flooding into your overall life. You're going to definitely feel this around love affairs, children, things that you're wanting to get off the ground and create for yourself. I think there's a lot of endless ways to use this energy, but you know, just a couple of them, you know, making the first move, taking that dive forward, taking that step forward, trying something you've never tried before, thinking outside the back box 
paving a new path. These are just a couple of ideas, but when it comes to things that you're passionate about, I love how much drive and determination that you have. Now with all this excitement, Sagittarius, there is a bit of an undercurrent um, that you may sense this week that's going to ask you to revisit something around your daily routines or something around your health. There's something here that you've just missed that you need to kind of go back and revise, see it again, hear it again, work through it again, whatever it is, whether you welcome it or it feels unwelcome to you, like you were ready to, to move forward, but, and you don't like the distraction. I definitely want you to understand that there is something to be gained here by going back and looking at this revisions at the very least it's wisdom. And that's not a little thing. You know, that Sagittarius, you love wisdom. There's something to be gained by going back here. I think that you're going to find some inspiration, some great ideas as you work, go into this weekend. There's someone there that's going to give you some great suggestions or ideas, or you're going to reflect on something that has happened in the past. And that's going to inspire you to make sure that you have something flowing beautifully for you as you move forward. I do hope you have a great week, Sagittarius. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for listening to Astrology Hub Star Signed Horoscopes. If you'd like to easily jump to your personal horoscope, sign up to get a timestamp star sign episode emailed to you each Friday. Go to astrologyhub.com forward slash star signs and sign up now. That's astrologyhub.com forward slash star signs.